Accidents in research laboratories are not isolated events. Since 2001, the CSB has gathered preliminary information on 120 explosions, fires, and chemical releases at university laboratories and other research facilities around the country. The accidents have caused deaths, serious injuries, and extensive property damage. This CSB video reports on three laboratory accidents. The 2008 fatality at UCLA, a death by accidental poisoning of a highly regarded Dartmouth College professor in 1997, and a 2010 explosion at Texas Tech University, or TTU, that severely injured a graduate student. It would be a shame if not every university stopped what it was doing whenever a major accident happens, like at TTU, like at UCLA, and take it as an opportunity to examine their own safety practices to determine what similarities there are. The CSB investigated the Texas Tech accident, producing a case study that the board believes includes important safety lessons for academia as a whole. The CSB is concerned with laboratory safety because it's an area that appears, um, in comparison to industry, um, pretty unregulated. There is an OSHA laboratory standard, but its focus is on exposure hazards and health hazards of the research work being conducted. University research is a large and highly competitive enterprise. The CSB estimates there are over 110,000 graduate students and postdoctoral researchers working in academic laboratories across the U.S. Government agencies and private organizations spend billions of dollars sponsoring research at university labs. Academic institutions, principal investigators, and lab workers face significant pressures to innovate, achieve, and gain funding and recognition for their work. Research conducted at university laboratories is often on the forefront of technology and innovation. It is important that this research continues and thrives, but it must be done within a strong safety culture where preventing hazards is an important value. 